hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on this channel you are very much welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys for coming back please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on and let's get started hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for tuning in again today for another episode of recipe this year today guys i'll be showing you guys how you can make your own tomato paste yeah so guys this is a, the tomato that i got from my garden home grown tomatoes taste so delicious yes these tomatoes taste so amazing so you can also use tomato that you bought from the store it doesn't really matter all that matters is you have tomatoes so this today recipe we are, we are using just one ingredient which is the tomatoes nothing else so let's get started if this is your first time on this channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome to my channel welcome back guys so let's get going first of all you have to wash your tomatoes after that go ahead and chop up the dark area yes or if you have any spoiled area in your tomatoes make sure you chop that out and after that go ahead and cut up all the tomatoes you can just cut it up the way i'm doing or you can use your um your chocolate board yes whatever you want however you want your tomatoes chopped just go ahead and do it so once you're done with all the tomatoes go ahead and grind them yes as you can see the pot is already already filled up yes it's already filled up so i'll go ahead and then uh, grind everything and after that i strain it so i use my strainer to strain up tomatoes because i want the seed and the skin to be out so you don't want to have that in your tomato paste because it's going to make it not to be smooth the tomato paste should be so I use my strainer to beat this process to all the tomatoes. Every single bit of it went through this process. Yes, yeah, so I'm just showing you guys to you know to let you guys know what I did. Yep. So as you can see right there, the seed and the skin is left. So I'll go ahead and bring the camera closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. As you can see that right there, so the tomatoes, the seed, and the skin is out. So we don't need to throw these guys away. Don't throw them away. Put them in the pot. I'll show you guys what we we'll do next with that. So because you don't want to waste it. You know, when we're eating tomatoes regularly, you know, we eat the skin and we eat the seed. So that we're not wasting this up. So just put them in the pot, in a separate pot, and boil them to be dry. Everything is done and ready. I'll go ahead and then turn my stove on. So after 30 minutes, we have already started boiling. Yeah, both are done. So, but the seed wouldn't take that long to dry because it's already almost dry. So after two and a half hours, so this is what the tomatoes is looking like. So it has dried, like, um, let me say, about 80%. It has dried about 80% at this point. But we are not there yet. If I was making a tomato sauce, at this point, I'll be done with tomato sauce. But I'm making tomato paste, so we'll have to proceed and keep drying. And this is the seed and the skin. So this guy is like... They dried up like uh, within 30 minutes, they are completely dry. So what I will do next is to go ahead and put this in a tray and put them outside to dry because it's very sunny outside. So put them in a tray and set them out to dry. So why this one, one and a half hour later, as you can see, it has dried up a little bit more. So this is like about 95% dried right now. So it's not like yet. So the um, consistency that I'm looking for, yes, it's not dry, 
be what I want it to be. But if you're like satisfied with the way it is right now, you can just go ahead and stop at this point. As you can see, it's really not dry, it's liquid. Yeah. So what I did, I have a pan. So I went ahead and add a little aluminum foil inside the pan. So I'll go ahead and scoop all the tomato paste inside the pan. So all everything has been in there. I'll go ahead and set this in my oven um, at 325 degrees degree Fahrenheit. height. Yes, I'll go ahead and set that in. So when we come back, we'll see how much it will dry. So I'll set this for one hour. So look at that color, it looks so nice. So after one hour, this is what the tomato is looking like. So this is what I need. This is the consistency I am looking for. That's just right there. As you can see, it's not watery anymore. So this is tomato paste. So the other time, what I saw was tomato sauce. So right now what I'm seeing is tomato paste. Yes. So guys, it's getting late at night. It's almost 9, 9.30 p.m. So I don't want to start the process of canning. So I decided to just put them in my pan. So I'll just go ahead and put everything in the pan then dress them up make them look nice just the way I'm doing it right now yep so once I'm done I'll go ahead and cover this up and leave it there on my stove but the stove is not on it's completely off and I'll cover that up and leave it up till the next day so next day there is my potatoes yeah it's almost uh, one o'clock or something like that and I already used half of a little bit of it to make my delicious breakfast yeah guys I already used a little bit of it so today we'll be doing the canning so I'll be showing you guys how to can and preserve your tomatoes so I have my canning bottles so I'll be using this for any size bigger one smaller one it depends you know you can use whatever bottle you want and you also need the the bottle leaf that, that's mandatory if you're canning you must have a bottle lifter so for some reason i decided to compare my homemade and the store bought uh, tomato paste so the first one was the tomato paste i bought from the store and this one is the one i made at home so it's pretty much very 99% close to the consistency that I want yes they are very I don't see much different in these two tomatoes guys and I tasted both of them not because I made it but believe me my homemade tomatoes tasted more great than the one that I bought from the store yes guys because I made this yeah I did not add any chemical no sugar no nothing but it tasted amazing I can't tell you guys how good that tomatoes was tasting so this is the water that I was using to you know cook the bottle or cook whatever so guys when you press this you can hear the sound right you can hear the hollow sound So that's the sound when it's empty and you can see the bottle when I remove the lid, the band, the lid like opened up right away. It wasn't like hard for me to pull without even any pressure was just coming up. So I will show you guys the difference after the canning process. So I'll go ahead and use my bottle lifter, grab the bottle, make sure you grab them securely, you don't want it to fall off, and dip them inside the water. You can also put the bottle first, after putting the bottle in the, in the pot, then you can fill up the cold water. So you don't want the water to be boiling, then you place your bottle, it might break, it might cause breakage to the bottle. So 
right now my tomato paste is warm again not really warm it's hot because you want it to be hot before you put it in a hot bowl do not place cold substance or cold whatever you're scanning you don't want it to be cold then you put it inside the hot bottle because it might break so because they say it causes terminal shock you don't want that to happen so i'll go ahead and use my bottle lifter again gradually and securely make sure you're holding it tight bring the bottle out so you want to make sure the there is no water in that bottle you want to make sure so go ahead and flip it over again and give it a little shake make sure you get every single water out while the bottle is hot and your whatever thing that you're canning is hot go ahead and put it in the hot bottle so my tomatoes is hot and the bottle is hot so everything goes in together do not put cold tomatoes inside your hot bottle yeah i know i have said it many times because i just want to make sure i said it clear enough in case i didn't say it clear the first time i want to make sure i'm saying it you know clear so the bottle is pretty hot so i used my washcloth that is kitchen towel to grab the bottle so as you can see there is a lot of holes like bubbles in there you don't want to see that so for that reason i have this that came with my canning kit so just use that to push that down so we want to the goal is to fill up all those bubbles all the holes that is in the can you don't want that the bottle has to be properly filled up so I'll go ahead and keep doing that process until everything is well filled. So I'll go ahead and grab that again to show you guys. So all those holes, anyone that I see, I still went ahead and pushed that down. So I just tap that on the salt on the you have to be careful so don't break the bottle. At this point i'm not seeing any bubbles or any empty space inside so i use my kitchen my little spoon so this was like the spoon i used for my last baby when he was baby so what i'm still using it anyway it's useful to me so right now i don't see any more bubbles or any more holes as you can see as well so I, I use paper towel, add a little bit of water, just a damp paper towel with water, clean off the rims and the areas, make sure there is no tomatoes hanging around. go ahead and push them down as much as you can clean that up make sure they are well clean as you can see right now it's looking clean and sorted so but make sure you don't fill this up to the tip give it a little space at least half inch space yeah so this is the lid i'll go ahead and put them in a the hot water because you want everything to be hot the lid should be hot and the pan should be hot so I'll go ahead and grab my the lid first shake off the excess any water that is on it so place that properly make sure it's well placed and also grab the band that goes around the lid so once everything is properly placed together just go ahead and tighten it up but do not over tight the lid make sure you give yeah just maybe once or twice you will just do that make sure you give space do not over tighten your lid at this point do not over tighten it i'm saying it over and over again so once you have done with that go ahead and grab it again with your bottle lifter and place that in did you see those bubble that happened yeah when you place the lid it starts bubbling from the top because it's not tightly 
closed. So I'll go ahead and cover this up and let it cook for 10 minutes. And for the leftover, yes, because I have a lot of leftover, you can use the bigger bowl. This one, but I don't like that doing this because the, the pot that I'm using, the length is not that, it doesn't have like very large length as you can see, it's only the smaller bottles that can fit in, so I'll use something else for that, so meanwhile after 10 minutes, I'm bringing the bottle out right now, so do not be tempted to tip the bottle over to remove the water that is on top of it do not take the water out just leave it alone the way it is gradually take them out and place them on a rack so find a rack or your chopping board or whatever you have just place them there as long as it's not something that will get melted by the heat yeah so when you pay attention, when you hear the, the sound, when it will be popping. So pay attention to that, you hear the pop. So guys that's it so the other one the last one also popped but it took like about a few more minutes so i cut that part because i didn't want this video to get it's getting too long so i had to cut some some things off so this is the leftovers i put them in this little handy you know containers so i'll just put them in my freezer and let them stay there i can just grab them whenever i need them but for now they will be in my freezer so guys, 24 hours later, my bottle is ready, so I, I clean them up, they are shining and ready to go. So I'll go ahead, as you can see, I'm pressing this, the sound that you heard at the beginning when there was nothing in it, that sound is no longer now. So, and you can see the lid is not even coming up with some pressure. Let's say I'm pulling it, but it's not falling off. So this, you can hear the sound when that was it was empty. I hope you understand what I try to explain by doing side to side. So you can also go ahead and date this, put the date there you preserve it, there you did the canning, yeah, whatever. I'm trying to like explain it. So guys, this is the the seed and the skin that are already dried out. So I'll go ahead and just grind this up. So this is really useful to use for any kind of recipe you want to make that require tomatoes instead of going and grinding and cutting tomatoes you can just add this up so here i'm making some noodles so just to do that noodle nice color i added a little bit yes and this tasted amazing look at the noodles so you have to check that out the video will be coming soon so guys that's pretty much it just get a bowl that has a lid and then cover this up and you can set this at the counter your kitchen counter your kitchen cabinet in any dry place just go ahead and put that in and use it at your convenience so guys thank you all for watching and next time i'll be showing you guys how to make tomato sauce yeah to be precise i'll be showing you guys how to make ready to go spaghetti sauce yeah you can just grab it and pour over your spaghetti and you're ready to go so if this is your first time on this channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and stay tuned for more videos give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos okay bye